Today I'm going to show you how to install brick molding. If you look at this brick molding around these doors and stuff like that, it's rotted off at the bottom. Usually on the door jams and stuff on the garage, they usually cut that up off of the aggregate a little bit to keep termites out and uh, to keep the shit from rotting. But right here, all these are all rotted off at the bottom and stuff like that. And I'm going to show you how quick and easy this is. It's called a piece of brick molding. This right here is PVC brick molding, and I've already pre-cut mine. All of them are always going to be a 45 degree angle cut. The only thing you got to make sure of is when you're cutting it is to not cut them all the same, you know, because it's two different sides of the brick molding. If you see the long point on this is on this trim area, this profile piece. Look at the piece over here. It's on the profile piece too, but it's reversed and stuff. So what I did was I fucking come through here and I cut all my chalk lines on the inside and stuff like that with a razor knife and then I and, and scored it across that 45 degree cut and I measured them. They're all 86 and a quarter. And the simple part about it is I got all my pieces cut. I'm gonna do everything all the same shit at the same time. I'm come up here and start pulling this shit off of this fucking knife. Like that. Pull it, grab it, get it loose, pull it off. It's so fun to join the jump. Make sure when you get up here to rock it back and forth because you don't want to fuck up that 45 degree cut. Come over here. everything at one time you're not going back and forth until it changes shit you know what I'm saying so you're gonna pull it all off at one time shoot them all on at the same time pop them all at one time that way you're not picking up your nail gun or your caulking gun and putting it down picking it up putting it down over and over and over again. now we'll go through and clean up any nails and shit that might be in there my nail clipper. I'm just going to pull them out. Because I'm working on the driveway, I'm going to keep them in my hand because I don't want nobody picking up their nails in their tire. Off that I can reach. Get them off the ladder. Yeah. Good right there.
can hammer them on by hand. You want to make sure your corner is nice and tight. And one, two, one, two. Pulling it over. Not nailing it over here because it's brick. One at the top first. Right there, come back to that one. Now, this one right here, not too long. We want to nip him off a little bit. doing it, I'm bending my brick bone. Just fit the old cock line. Now, if you look right here, you'll see how it's like kind of like the top piece and everything in the bottom piece. I think that that was a little bit of caulking. So I'll take one piece of brick bone and pull it out. Show me how I did to the other piece. Using the side of one tool. Come back over here and tell you again.
Sometimes you can work it back and forth and break it. Never hit anything with the head of your hammer because it'll mock it up. PVC brick molding, so this brick molding don't rot. Made out of plastic. Plastic. Don't so we hope it does anyway. Yeah. It's going to seal all down each side of it.
all it is to it. This is FEMA seal, vinyl adhesive caulking, and it actually glue, it's like glue. It don't break away. It says indoor, outdoor use, kitchen, bath, windows, doors, fast drying, cured caulk is dew resistant, mildew resistant, paintable, and easy water cleanup. Lifetime guarantee. Does it all. Bonds, caulks, and seals. It's all I use. I go back around here like this. And just kind of put a little dot over top of each one of these nail holes. So we'll be going in there. Okay. working a little fast today because it's going to be 100 degrees out here today and my fat ass ain't trying to be out here sweating. You look right here, there was an unanticipated piece that we saw was rotted on the end and we didn't have enough material to go ahead on and replace the whole piece so I scanned a little short piece in here and I saw it needs to flash and so it's okay. Once you paint it, you won't even know it's there. Put the nail home. You got more aim if you use two hands. Put a whole dot on each one. That's it. That's all it is to it. So make sure, make sure you subscribe to my channel. That's very important. And uh, if you got any questions, leave a question in the comment section, and I'll comment right back to you in your comments. And make sure that I answer any of your questions to make your brick molding job a little easier. And you don't need nothing but a handsaw, a hammer, and a couple of trim nails. You don't have to have a miter saw and a nail gun and all this other shit that we got but uh so you can do it real simple easy quick but make sure you use the pvc stuff make sure you subscribe leave a comment hit the like button and ask questions if you want to and i'll get right back with you man you have a nice day now